guys, Sponge Murphy here. So I was painting up the Var guys, and I completely forgot that I meant to be doing uh, the alternative models for these, which are the Crypt Horrors. Um, I was meant to be doing them all at the same time, but I completely forgot about them. Um, yeah, so the box that I have for these, I have this guy here with the, what is it, like a tombstone. I have him built up because I built him as part of my ghoul unit for the terrain square challenge, if you remember a while ago. So I just have these two guys to build up. Now, I'm going to be painting them a slightly different colour from this guy. Like, I'm not going to strip him anything because he fits in with my ghoul unit like that. So I, I will be doing them green, but just a different colour green. I've been looking at a few other ways of doing it. And uh, I'll have a colour scheme picked out for them and everything. Well, hopefully, anyway, if it'll work out. So, um, so yeah, I have the sprues here. I'm just going to clip them all out, get them all built up. I think I'm going to be gluing them all together. Because usually I, you know, I pin parts separate and I paint all the arms separate. But I think these ones should be handy enough to do once they're glued all together. So, um, I'm going to get started and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so here they are. I have the two guys built up. Um, a lot of details really go into these. Like the champion guy, the leader guy. I didn't know, but all the spikes, maybe you can't see it there if I turn them around. All them spikes on his back, I didn't even notice them at first, like looking at the box. But they're all like, like individual, they're not like all part of the mold. They all have to be put in individually. Like there's a couple of choices you get for it. But um, so yeah, they're really nice looking, this guy, he's pretty big. Um, you know, like, let me have a look. There's a Skaven model, standing next to it. Um, and there's a rat ogre. You gonna stand in next to him and get a look like that? No, he's still he's even much bigger than the rat ogre. Like, like I know. Well, there you go. The guy kind of hunched over is just near enough a little bit smaller or taller than him. But the leader guy is like he's a big Hulk. He's huge. He's pretty cool. And like the stance where he's kind of running, looking like he's gonna jump, is pretty awesome. Uh, there was an option to give him either just an arm, like with not, and just like an open hand, or give him like the big bone club with uh, with the spikes on it. So I had to give him all the spikes. I think everything else is kind of standard on it. The little guy here in the back. I think instead of putting him on it, you can give him just another big plane spike through his back. So yeah, um, yeah. It's been a while since I made one of these. Like I, I forget how big they are. Like there's. Or the crypt target, give me this guy, the normal, not the guy can yeah, they're roughly about the same height as the as the fire guys. The fire guys a little bit taller with the fur on the back but apart from that. So uh let's have a look at this guy before I finish up. I can't remember if this guy had a choice of a different arm. But I really like the weapon he has. That big giant bone is pretty cool. Um He has like a spine coming up through the back. It just looks pretty badass. Um, the legs are the same as the the Vargas. So the only difference then I guess the upper part and the legs are generally the same, but that is not that wouldn't bother you too much. I think the bodies are the same as well, just the torso on there. So uh, so you can get a look at his face. They're pretty ugly. So look at this guy. Yeah, this guy has a pretty nice looking face and he has like a chain thing. The, actually, is it going around like a chain or maybe it's sticking out the back of the thing? It's just more like a chain. It's not sticking out his head or anything. So, um, so yeah. Um, they're going to be painted green. There is a nice green, as I said before, a nice green colour scheme I've picked out. So I'm hoping it'll work It'll come out nice on these guys. Um, it'll be like completely different, the complete opposite from the Var guys. So, um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you've used these models before or seen them, or if you like them, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. Um, hit the like button, don't forget. And uh, once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bro.